If you have been one of the people, like myself, that has gotten the email from Varla about a beefier electric scooter that is coming quite soon, well, you're going to be excited, just like I am. As we all know, we're coming up to spring, the summer, which is generally the riding season for everybody. So Varla are going to be bringing out a new electric scooter, I'd say probably around spring. I'd, and I'm very excited. So today in this video, I'm going to be telling you what I would love to see on their e new electric scooter. And do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So of course, I've done loads of videos already on my Varla Eagle One and my Varla Pegasus. Both of them playlists are going to be linked in the description if you want to go and have a look at them. But because Varla are saying it's going to be a beefier electric scooter, I started to think, what can they really do to step up their game in the electric scooter market that is quickly evolving very fast as quality improves overall? So let's address the first thing. The longest range scooter that they do have is the Varla Eagle 1, which is a 52 volt electric scooter. Now the range, I've done a range test on it. It's not too bad, it will get you there. But if you're going on really big group rides, it's not that suitable. So for their new electric scooter, I would love to see a 60 volt or maybe even a 72 volt. Maybe that's a bit wishful thinking, but at least a 60 volt electric scooter to give you that range and to give you maybe a little bit more higher top speed. But for me, range is probably the most important thing. So like the Varla Eagle 1, the Varla Pegasus actually has not given me this issue, but on the Varla Eagle 1, the stem is not the best. So you do have to add a rugged clamp to it. Again, I've done a video on that one. I would love to see their stems getting designed like the V-Set scooters. Their stems don't seem to be given any problem at all. They seem to be very secure, very firm, which means you don't have to buy a rugged clamp, which means you don't have to really do a lot of adjustments, which means you don't have to add a shim also in between that area, and you don't have to adjust everything as time goes on, and you have a bit more stability there. So I'd love to see a really good stem on this. I'm not sure, imagine if they did bring out an electric scooter similar to the Wolf Warriors. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't see them doing that to be honest. I can see them being something a bit more beefier from a single stem, but imagine if it was a double stem, that would be, I would actually be shocked if I saw Varla doing that at this stage because it's such a young company at the moment. What we do really want, the next one would be full hydraulic brakes, exactly like the Varla Eagle 1. Of course, mechanical disc brakes, they're okay, but when you're talking a beefier electric scooter, which is what Varla seem to be saying, we want full hydraulic brakes, zoom at least all around. We don't want the cheaper hydraulic brakes that are out there on the market. We need that stopping power there. And I must say the brakes on the Varla Eagle 1, if they kept it at the zoom quality at least, I would be extremely happy with them. I've talked about it, I know I've talked about it so many times, but because the IP ratings, what is going on? Please bring out an IP rated electric scooter that's like IP66, IP67, something along those lines because we have to put silicone on some of the entry points and Gorilla Tape. I'm not gonna get into it, I've talked about it enough already, but a really good IP electric scooter would be amazing, something that was actually tested and has an official rate and not IP54, because that's just pointless. So something really cool, IP66, IP67 would be really nice to see on their new beefier electric scooter. Now on the Varla Eagle 1, you do have stock tires and a lot of people, when they do get their Varla Eagle 1, end up upgrading to the upgraded street tires, to the hybrid tires, or even the full off-road tires. The tires on the Varla Eagle 1 are quite narrow. They are a 10 inch tire, but they're only around two and a half inches in width. It does say three inches on the tire, but in reality, it's that two and a half inches. So I'd love to see them stepping up their game with those tires on the new beefier electric scooter. Imagine if they had, not that they would ever, but imagine if they had the PMT tires that you see, that they are the premium quality ones out there on the market. But um, again, that's just wishful thinking on my part. Okay, now maybe, again, this is another wishful thing to think, but I would love to see air shock suspension coming to their new electric scooter. I think it would definitely bring their scooters more of a premium feel, because of course on the Varla Eagle 1, so the suspension can easily bottom out when you're going over bumps really harsh bumps and you hear that kind of rattle on the back end so if they brought out an air shock suspension i would love to see that that would absolutely be amazing one thing that i'm actually thinking of now 
as well please if they brought out an electric scooter that has really good fenders the front and the rear because there's nothing worse when you're in really bad weather you have muck you have debris you have splashes of water getting up your backside if they had a really good mud guard please that would be a definitely plus on their new scooter another fail point of so many scooters not just wireless so many scooters out there is lighting imagine i'd like to see again like the wolf warriors they have really good lighting from what it seems i've never actually been on a wolf warrior not yet and anyway but i would love to see that type of lighting particularly at the front and then at the rear maybe even some indicators again maybe wishful thinking with indicators but a good rear taillight would be definitely key from a safety standpoint of course i haven't talked about really the speed yet but if it was maintained at like 40 45 mile per hour which is around 65 70 km per hour speeds i would be generally happy with that i don't think the way some electric scooters are 80 90 100 kilometers an hour personally i'm not really interested in that i don't mind a sweet spot around 60 kilometers an hour 50 to 60 kilometers an hour laps would be delighted and I, I, I can imagine that they are going to maintain around that kind of speed area i can't imagine them bringing about bringing an electric scooter out that's like you know 30 miles per hour or something like that I, i'd be actually shocked if they did do that a few other things that kind of bug me about some of the scooters out there including the viral eagle one viral pegs is most scooters suffer from this is that they use really soft screws on the area you have to be really careful you see so many people on the facebook forums and stuff like that that have to they end up stripping the screws accidentally it's very easy to do even if you are using the correct tool it only takes one slight twitch and next while you have a stripped screw and you have to use an extractor tool set or you have to use the torx heads and stuff like that to get out those screws so again i would love to see a bit more upgradability there but i can't i can't really see them doing that from a cost perspective maybe down the line the future words down the line most pvs out there would have upgraded screws titanium screws which is what we really want another thing i personally like is an adjustable handlebar height of course sometimes when you have these adjustable handlebar heights they can give problems down the road they can start to have a bit of play they can start to drop you have to tighten the clamps more maybe you have to put in other areas to kind of make it a bit more firm and stuff like that but i think an adjustable handlebar height is really cool on some electric scooter particularly the taller riders and the you know below average height riders they can really make it to their own comfort level of course listen competition is good the new gt lineup from segway i've done a video on that you can click on that right now if you want to go and have a look at the in-depth the crazy prices as well they're looking for their new gt lineup if you have enjoyed this video if you are still here do give it a like subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video